Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today's day 26 of our indoor deep water culture system grow, and it's time to change the, the nutrients here. The five gallon bucket is running really low, and I think it's time to sw swap things out. Normally, it would be really easy to change the nutrients for me. I would just kind of like swap the buckets, but being that it's already growing all over the trellis behind over here, this plant is really kind of like set in its in its home and it's in its place. And I gotta really be careful when I'm gonna be lifting it and transplanting um, the containers here underneath. But we'll, we'll do that later on all together. I'll show you guys how I do that exactly. But for now, let's kind of just take a look at the plant and see how the new growth is going on. And you can see there's a lot of new uh, new cucumbers that are beginning to to set the new, the new flowers. And you can see right over here, there's a lot of flowers that have already pollinated, and the flowers are closing up. And it's beginning to get nice and plump. I'm noticing small differences here and there. When you look at this thing several times a day, honestly, guys, it's really hard to tell, um, especially when you look at it as much as I do. Being that we're in quarantine, you know, I'm kind of like home all the time, so not much to do besides look at the plants, I guess. But, you know, for now, things are growing really well, guys, and I hope your plants are doing well. And make sure that, you know, when the nutrients are running low, you get on that. Don't wait too long, guys, because if you wait too long, it's really gonna damage the plant, and it, it it may not recover. Honestly, a lot of I've had a lot of plants over the over the course of my growth that never recovered. So let's take a look at the root system. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at how much it's developed in just like a couple of days since the last update I've shown you guys. If you want to check out check out my previous episodes for the cucumber growth, but man, look at this absolutely gorgeous man. It's really white, and looking really healthy. It looks really compact. And I can't wait to get this thing out of the system here and, and transplant the new the new the new container. So let's kind of just um, see what, what we're gonna do here. So basically, what I'm gonna do is um, I have another bucket. Normally, I just swap it out. So right over here, it's another five gallon bucket. Um, I have to mark do the indications on the on the little blue thing right there in the side to show how many gallons are in there. So I'm gonna pour one gallon at a time and indicate the line. This way, I know how many gallons are left. And I'm gonna pour three gallons because that's what fits basically what I started with. And this way it saves space for the air roots to keep keep growing and the roots on the bottom to keep growing in. So you see over here we got three gallons and I made my markings so I know how much water is left. And all that's left to do is basically just add the hydroponic fertilizer and swap things out. So you see the plant is just absolutely gorgeous right now. I'm going to be using Maxi Grow since it's just like really easy right now using one scoop at a time. Um, Master Blend, it just seems like a little bit of um, a little more work at the moment. And being that I started with with Maxi Grow for this growth, I want to continue it. And this way I know, you know, if I like it more, a little more so you, with Master Blend or not. For now, it's doing really well, guys. And that's two scoops. I'm just using the bare minimum. What it says, it's um, one teaspoon per gallon. So I got three gallons, that's three teaspoons. And that's all we need in there. And all that's left is just to mix it up. Now, normally I would put in my air stone and just wait a couple hours, but I'm feeling really impatient today. So I'm gonna do it the old way and just kind of stir things up here a bit. So let's just kind of fast forward right there. So things seem to be pretty mixed up here. I can see there's a little bit of particles left there at the bottom. So I'm going to mix things up a little bit more. And for now, things are doing really well, guys. You could see that it's almost ready. So I got my gloves. This way, I don't disturb the roots too much and get any of my oils or anything like that on it. And when you're touching the roots, you want to make sure to use gloves. So I'm going to try to put it as close as I can. And let's see how this works so I just kind of lift the lift the lid and you can see right I mean over here guys it's it's really wrapped around and I want to really be careful I don't want to damage the plant especially at, at its current growth if things keep on going the way they are I'm gonna have a whole lot of cucumbers way more than I've ever had so this is by far the best cucumber growth I've had so far and I want to keep things going 
so I basically have to unplug the the air pump right here not the air pump but the, the line that's connected to the air pump to make things a little bit easier and I'm gonna pull it through so let me just show you guys how I do it right here and let's just do it together and the camera falls right there so unfortunately we're gonna have to do a second take but that's all right so good thing i noticed it because if the video kept on going i would have definitely would have been bad guys so let's fix the camera and let's go one more time all right let's see if the second take could be a little bit better and basically what i did here was i just opened up the lid and i ran i realized i have to run the the line that's connected to the air, air pump back on the inside of the air stone so back in into the what am i saying i'm basically just pulling the line back into the five gallon bucket so it's not in the way gotta make things complicated and then i just gotta lift up the the roots really carefully without ripping them just place it right on the inside and continue holding the plant in its place because i don't want to rip it uh rip any of the uh, the vines or anything that's connected to the trellis behind it so I just kind of move that out of its place and push that as close to you know original spot as possible and you can see basically the roots are back in its new home and everything looks really good nothing got damaged thankfully I was very nervous doing this guys honestly especially with how close things are connected next time I'm gonna probably have to put like this five gallon bucket maybe on like a little stool or something just to lift things up this way i have like a little bit of a distance to, to drop it down and you can see uh, the bottom of the container there's just barely anything left so most likely by over overnight or by tomorrow morning there would have been nothing left and this plant would have suffered quite drastically i think so i'm really happy i did this now and don't be lazy guys change your nutrients so you see right over here we got three gallons left right now and let me just show you guys one more time how things look on the inside. And looking really good. You see there's a lot of space for air roots to continue to grow and a lot of new space for new healthy roots to continue to keep growing and developing. So as always guys, if you liked the episode, please hit that thumbs up. It helps me greatly. Post any messages or comments down below. As always, thanks for watching.